Good morning, class. Welcome to day three of your one-point perspective unit. Today, you should be starting your final project as you've already developed your understandings of the skills, processes, and techniques of the linear perspective uh, drawing method. With that said, your learning goal for today is to design an interior or exterior space that uses a variety of subjects and details in one-point perspective. The key here is to focus on creating a variety of subjects so not just one or two buildings, not just one or two doors and windows. Make sure you're filling each building or each space up with a variety of things that follow uh, the one-point perspective rules and guidelines. So I want to see that you understand the, um, the technique beyond just creating a building shape or uh, a structural shape. Your central question is how does linear perspective help the viewer better understand the dynamics of various spaces? So that basically, I know that's a wordy question, but what that means is how does that drawing technique, how does linear perspective help us when we look at an artwork understand the space that we're looking at? And what it does is it basically makes that space look like we are in that space or that we are actually standing there looking down that road or looking up that hill. Um, it, and it does that by creating depth in space, by making things look smaller as they go back into space and things that get closest to us or more larger with a higher level of detail. So that's the answer to the essential question and you will continue to develop your understanding of that as you produce your project uh, today and the days to come. Your vocabulary word today is depth and as always please complete your classwork during your regularly scheduled class uh, period and submit all your work no later than three o'clock to avoid any uh, temporary zeros for late or missing assignments. So your first task is just to answer the following questions for your entrance ticket. What is depth and how does the vanishing point help create, I'm sorry, help create a sense of depth to the viewer? So basically, how does a vanishing point force objects to um, become larger or smaller to create depth? And please use the day one PowerPoint for help with both of these questions. This is meant to be an easy two points. It's not meant to be difficult. Uh, both questions are in the PowerPoint. Just refer to that for your easy two points. And then lastly, just begin your final project and submit a photo of your progress uh, to the day three student progress assignment for credit. That's worth three points. And um, make sure that you are specifically using a ruler for every line. Make sure that your vertical lines that go straight up and down um, are straight with the paper and they're not angling in towards the edge of the paper. And then also the side angles, make sure they are going to that vanishing point because that vanishing point in the center is key to the whole project. So make sure you are focusing on that. If your ruler is not touching the vanishing point and it's not touching the corner of your building, then it is going to be incorrect every time. So just please remember to make sure your ruler is touching both the corner and the vanishing point to get the proper angle for your project. All right, um, that's everything I have for you for today. Just do your entrance ticket and your final project. I look forward to seeing your drawings, and please let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye, guys.